with my homemade dishwasher detergent. So what I do with homemade dishwasher detergent is I make my own, and then I will use one scoop of my homemade dishwasher detergent and one scoop of the Nelly's dishwasher powder. I find that's the cleanest that I can get my dishes. Individually, they don't work as well as they do combined, but, you know, if you run out of your homemade and you have to use the Nellies, then you just use two scoops of the Nellies. Um, we have really, really hard water where I am, so you kind of need a little more cleaning power. Um, unfortunately for me, this last batch of Nellies that I got is fragrance contaminated, so if that happens again, I this will be and I'll have to solely rely on this. So, it works. Sometimes it leaves dishes a little cloudy, but only sometimes, and I think that has to do with my water quality because it's constantly changing. Anyways, <laughs> enough chit chat, let's get into it. So, as you can tell, I done not They don't make a giant container for the dishwasher like they do for the laundry. And I really wish they did. But I've been accumulating containers, so why not put my raw ingredients in them? It's not like I'm going to eat any other shit anyways. But anyways, so I have baking soda, washing soda, borax, salt, and citric acid. And that is what's going to go in here. For the moldies, don't do citric acid. Are they chemically sensitive? Maybe see if you can find an alternative. Um, once I am out of citric acid, which will either be this round of making it or the next one, it will be soon, I will not be rebuying citric acid. I was fine with it off the start. Um, now it makes my eyes and nose burn. And if I breathe through my mouth, it makes my whole throat burn. So I'm done with it. I won't be buying it again. Um, the way you can get around citric acid is to put a cup upright, like just a normal cup, or even a measuring cup, because that's really all I have here. But you can put it upright in the top shelf of your dishwasher, fill it with vinegar before you start your dishwasher. Now it's recommended white distilled vinegar, but whatever you happen to have, if you have white, use it. If you don't have white, use whatever you have. For me, it'll be lemon or orange, because that's what I made, that's what I have. Well, if I still have any by the time I run out of the citric acid. Um, but that's a way you can get around the citric acid. You still have the acid to help rinse everything off. Um, so, I believe this recipe calls for two parts borax, one part of everything else. I don't have it written down, so I have to go back to the page that I used originally and then modified to make it work for me. So let me do that and confirm that I'm remembering this right, because my brain is not very good. And then we'll mix all our ingredients in the bowl, put it in here, and then we'll be good for dishwasher detergent again. Yep, okay. I was right with my modification. It's two parts borax and one part of everything else. And parts can be anything. I'm going to go with a cup to be one part. So I need two cups of borax, one cup of everything else. I really hope I have enough. If not, too bad. So we will start. I have everything labeled with little labels on the bottom with the two cups borax so I can just get the two out of the way and I won't have to remember. The good thing about these containers is the lids fit really snug, but that's also a bad thing because they're really hard to get off. Okay, I should probably be wearing a cloth mask while doing this just so I don't breathe in any of the particulate, but I am so freaking sick of wearing masks. I have to wear them all day at work and anytime I leave the house, I am putting my health on the line just because I don't want to wear a mask. Stupid? Yes. Do I recommend you wear a mask? Yes. Am I going to do it? No. Mm. 
Who level cleans that with the handy kitchen knife here? One. I know it really doesn't matter that much that you really have to level it out, but kind of anal. That's close enough for two. So that's the borax. Um, make sure you get the right kind because there's borax and then there's boric acid. Boric acid is super harmful to you and everything else. So this one's controversial, but it's not as bad. So borax, done. <sighs> okay, washing soda is already open, so we will put one cup of washing soda in. soda. That would be my bad. So, <laughs> baking soda. Not quite a cup. So, I'll get the kitchen baking soda and use that. Kitchen stuff from the pantry. I'm just going to top up with this and I'll have to buy more washing soda and baking soda at the bulk store because it's cheaper there. Okay. One cup of baking soda. Salt next. Salt helps soften the water. Uh, that's where water softener does. It puts a bunch of salts in the water, which is why you cannot water your plants with water from a water softener. So salt. Um, I should probably grind this down because it's coarse sea salt, but it was the only salt I could find that didn't have additives. I'm just going to use it as it is. Laziness and not caring for the wind. One cup of salt. And then citric acid. And yes, I have problems with this. I really hope... I really hope I run out with this recipe. And I won't. I knew because yeah it hurts yay so I will never buy citric acid again um, a lot of food has citric acid in it it is usually derived from mold not lemons like we have been led to believe um, traditionally it was but it's cheaper and easier to do it from mold so there's that and then we're going to stir this. It would be nice if I came prepared, right? I had a spoon and knife and stuff already. But we're going to stir this to mix all the ingredients up. So that we don't have layers in our little container here. Now, I personally have never had issues with clumping, but I've heard some people have, so they leave it out. Um, I believe as long as it's not stuck in moisture, because water will cause the citric acid to bubble and bond to other things. That's how you make little tablets, but what you could do if you really wanted to. You could add some water to this, form it into little tablets, like in some sort of mold of some kind. Then you could just throw one in your dishwasher. But I'll stick with the scoop. Then I'm done now instead of more steps. And it just, it's one scoop of this, one scoop of Vanellis, or two scoops of whatever I happen to have on hand. It's two scoops total. I believe a scoop is a tablespoon. So it's really not that much. And I have had these ingredients for, oh, how long did it take me to run out? I ran out of the borax first, because it's twice as much as everything else. And I was using my table salt instead of other salts for it. Um, probably? took me six months and I just 
had these little containers filled with each ingredient from the bulk store. But anyways, now that this is stirred up fairly decently, I'm going to put it in my bin. Yeah, if you find you run into trouble with clumping, wow, I am making a mess. But if you find you run into trouble with clumping, it is recommended to leave it in the bowl out on the counter and stir it for a couple days, and then you shouldn't have any more clumping. Um, to me, the clumping means you probably had some moisture in something, because I've never had an issue with it. Which is funny, because my humidity in this house is higher than ideal. But, I'll do my best, it's great. So because I put a little bit of extra in some stuff just to finish it off and not have a couple tablespoons left, it doesn't quite fit in my container, but an exact cup as a portion does. So I'm just going to actually leave this out, oh, come on, without the lid on for the next couple loads in the dishwasher and then I'll be able to get the lid on and put it under the sink with the rest of it. So, I mean, without talking and not paying attention to what you're doing, <laughs> it only takes a couple minutes to make. Um, the longest part is going to the store and getting the ingredients, but I mean, if you're going to go get store-bought dishwasher detergent anyways, you're going to the store and spending that time. Uh, you can always order all of these ingredients online and then you don't even have to leave the house. Uh, it takes a couple minutes to measure things out, stir it up, put it in a container, and then you're good to go. This should last me a couple months. So, we do dishes every day, sometimes twice a day in the dishwasher. That's it. Super simple, super easy. It just takes a little bit of time and effort. But I mean, it would be nice to be able to go buy store-bought dishwasher detergent, but I mean, I'm down to just the Nellies, and if my next batch comes in fragrance contaminated, that's gone too. So this could be my only option for this thing. Safer for the planet anyways than all this crap. Like why do we need to eat something that is pesticides in it? fragrance chemicals, who knows what else, because a lot of stuff doesn't even have to be listed. We're putting that on something we eat off of. I know it doesn't just rinse off, because when you rinse it off, it goes into the water system. So you are washing your dishes in more than you think you are. Anyways, that was a tangent. I hope this helps you figure out your dishwasher detergent. Maybe it'll work for you. I hope so. It's definitely cheaper than store-bought. Works well. It's what I have to do. Thanks for watching. Bye.